Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Conquest. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to try and complete Ginchio's story by destroying Ranmaru, our most uh, difficult opponent. So this battle could definitely end in a loss for us, I'm not going to lie. So even though our strength is so much higher, the fact that they have dragons this early in the game are pretty busted. Dragon's Rage is flat 40 damage, makes up for any level difference you could possibly have. So we're just going to have to play at our best here. This is probably my favorite map in the game. It is the bug map. And the bug map is all about de destruction. So whoever kills the opponent first wins. There's no flags here. Which is what I prefer. We will not let it go down so easily. Yeah, I don't know why they made Dragon Rage so busted in this game. But it's really busted. So Wigglytuff, I'm going to need you to move first. Can you move that ball out of Luxray's way? I see there's a ground type on that side and a rock type. The only thing that works against that is my Sneasel, who's also weak to it, so that's going to be tough. And Starly, I'm going to send you this far up. You might get hit, but just, just bear with me. Ghastly, so all three of these characters have Dragon Rage, which hits two different, uh, which hits two distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you stand over here. We're going to have you... Let's see, maximum distance, four, five. Okay, I should be safe here. And Molga, I'm going to have you get out of range of that ball. I don't want you to get hit by it. These balls might be the only way I can kill some of these opponents, just because of how tanky they are, being rock and ground types. That Gibble especially. All right, so she's going for the Hypnosis. It's a low accuracy move, but it hits. My Starly is now asleep. That could be a problem. And Dratini is standing right on a trap. Beautiful. Okay. That Dratini is very killable now. Oh, I did not know Gibble had a range move. Oh, crap. Her ability increased her range. And Sneasel has taken 40 freaking damage. That range increase was very bad. Oof. I need to kill that. I need to kill that Gibble. But if Sneasel dies, I lose one of my most important members. So a lot of bad stuff just happened. Uh, I'm going to have Ghastly do her sweet song, heal up my team. The good thing about uh, almost all female team is most of them are healers, so they're pretty helpful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you attack the Dratini. How much damage can you do to it? Nice. Okay, that's a good start. Next, I'm going to have Sneasel. If you got right here and hit him. Yes, okay, we could just kill the Gibble. So the Gibble will be able to do nothing now. That's why I said Sneasel was our most important member. Then I'm going to let Amolga. I know it's not very effective, but it'll at least do some damage to the Yaksu. There we go. And then Luxray. Ew. The best thing you can do is hit that Muna. Oh, you can kill it if you hit this move. Might be hard to hit, but you can... Oh, I missed! Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, that miss sucks. I'm going to go ahead and try to wake up our Starly friend. I didn't want to have to do this, but we kind of have to now. All right, Hyper Voice failed to wake it up. Of course. Cha-cha, you just salve yourself. All right, and with your one turn before you die, because I'm getting you killed, just do seven damage. All right, I've killed our Starly. Every turn, they add a new ball. Ramaru's still stuck in that net, thank God. Hypnosis does not hit the ball, but I am asleep again. At least they didn't aim at my other guy. No! They had a healer, too! I should have just assumed they all have healers. Ah, that's really bad, because I need to kill that Dratini. I'm so glad Dragon Rage missed there. Holy crap, Poison Sting didn't kill me. And it cured me of my sleep. Oh, but that'll kill me. Yep, Rock Tomb is super effective. It missed! <laughs> Thank God Larvitar's speed stat is so low. It's strange. I feel so invincible. It is strange that you feel invincible. Alright, so. I need Dratini to die now. Best chance I have of doing that is if I hit it with a ball. Which means I'm probably going to have to hit my Ginchio with a ball. Unless I'm willing to move her out of the way. Like over here. Can you use Thunder past this rock? You can't. Okay, do this. This is how you're spending your turn. Yeah! We hit the Ekans. 
because we hit the Atkins, this doesn't feel so bad now. And then, just out of curiosity, how much does your flat paint attack... It's not enough, okay. Welp, let's do this first then. We're going to have Ghastly lick the ball, pushing it towards the Dratini. And now we can kill Ramaru before Ramaru becomes a threat. Ramaru also has a healing move, but... Uh, yeah, we don't want to let that healing move go off. I think it's called Empathy or something. Don't worry. And by the way, Ramaru Dratini is not your main partner. That's not even your real partner, so why are you using it? Alright, Starly, come over here and help us with the final dragon type. Honestly, this, this Axu is the only thing that can beat us now. Because once we get rid of Axu, they have nothing. You know what? You also have a healing move, right? Okay, heal my team. We don't have to lose any members, do we? Oh, I guess we might lose our Starly to a Dragon Rage, but we'll see. Volt Switch is a very powerful move, even when it's not very effective, so there we go. Wigglytuff, you can go ahead and wake up that Muna. I don't care if you hurt our Luxray. Luxray can take a hit. There we go. Leave that thing. Yep, there we go. We cured the Muna of its Tired Eyes. Alright, Larvitar, you're going to try and throw rocks at our ice type. That was a smart idea. And you missed. I'm starting to realize the rock type I was worried about only has a 9% link, which is unbelievably low. So, we got nothing to worry about here. Plus, the Muna missed. Finally. Alright, still trying to hit my Amolga. Ugh, you actually landed it. That's no good. Alright, you try to kill Muna, why don't you? I know you tried earlier and you missed, but this time, there we go. This time, we're going to let the Thunder do it. And Sneasel, you're the only one that can hit the Rock-type with the uh, normal effective damage, so why don't you do that? Yep, that's a one-shot. And all that's left is a baby Axu with, like, no HP, so I'm going to... You know what, I'm going to use Ghastly to get some... Get some items for us. And, uh, you know what, Sweet Song. Why not? Let's get one more song out. Win this fight with full HP. 70 gold. And Amolga, do you want to end this? Oh, you can't end this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 2 HP left. It's a good thing Starly hasn't fought yet. Starly, do 2 damage. And the dragon army that I was so scared of is defeated. Yeah, defeat's inconceivable. We're the strongest in the universe. Man, our Link's already at 27%. We're untouchable. We're so strong now. There's no way they can stop us. And everybody but Ranmaru is willing to come join us, which is fine. As long as I get some dragons out of the deal, we're just... We're, we're, we're looking pretty. Alright, I want all of them. Give me all of them. Yes, recruit them all. And I'm going to put them on my Psychic Island so that they don't try to take it. Because the Psychic Island is the most annoying one to try and take back. Because yeah. literally, if they take the Psychic Island, I'm going to be pissed. And in fact, I'll be so pissed that I should probably move some guys around. It looks like we picked up an ally or two, right Wigglytuff? And the energy of all of our Pokemon went up. Energy is another thing that matters. Look at my Pokemon right now on the top right screen. Um... They have these little arrows next to their portraits, and Wigglytuff has the best arrow right now. Well, a couple of them do. Mm, I probably should have moved my armies. Oh, I got two new people. Great job, you actually found some people. Very proud of you. Good job. Alright, we're already in May. And they still haven't attacked us. Liddy Ginchu, you an elderly man. Oh, I forgot, they usually don't attack until after the elderly man has left. So, right after this is when they're going to start jumping us. Ah, uh, we don't need to learn about anything. I know how to do this. Let's move our army back into a position of battle. And now that they're willing to attack us, actually... Maybe I should try to win in this year. If I split my army up now that we got new members, I might be able to win this year. So, the problem with her is she has a ground type as a boss Digimon. So my electric types are basically useless. So I'm going to send Wigglytuff and my all-powerful Sneasel to go fight her. 
All right, and we will not be needing the help of Larvitar. Larvitar is pretty much useless, given how low their link is. And I'm not even joking. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna kick Larvitar out of our army too. And they will be replaced by someone else. So, Kai's army has... Oh, she got freaking No to join her. Okay. Not bad. Did you get anyone important to... Yeah, you got Aya to join you. Look at you guys teaming up with these characters that are actually pretty threatening. Uh, this team looks really effective. I think they could take them. And then them... Only four members. I'm going to let myself... I'm going to get a Beedrill and a Duskull to join me. And then there we go. We're going to split our army in two and take them both out in the same month. That way they have no chance of retaliation. Uh, we're going to let our main forces go first. Or you know what? No, we're going to let our second force. No, let's let our main forces go first because they have pretty much a 100% chance of winning. And then we'll do our secondary forces next because we don't know if they'll actually win. So this is the team we're going to take out, Kai, and uh, no. Yes, no is the lady who uses Drifloon. Do, 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 do. I also like this map. The rock map is fun. It's another fighting map. No no flags, no bullcrap. Just kick each other's butts. It's kind of a hard map to fight with a Luxray, though. Not a lot of space. Alright, Kai. Funny enough, Kai's partner is not usually a Simiseer. Her true partner is a Darmanitan. It's freaking so it's so freaking cool. Alright, we got two Beedrills over here. Beedrills will not do good against uh, a Molga. Since they're both bug types. So Molga can go take on the bee drills, And I guess I could send other people to go do the other stuff. Um, let's go <coughs> Omolga, you go over there. I'm going to have Luxray step on the button to get us out of here. It's funny that this game has bee drill, but it doesn't have Weedle or, Ca or Metapod because they were just too weak. Alright, you go there. Ghastly. I kind of want you to go... Your ghost typing can be helpful against those two, actually. Go ahead and go this way. Starly, on the other hand, go straight up. And you'll get killed. Okay, never mind. Go over here. And then Duskull, you go straight up. You're going to be fighting now. Which will probably be a tough fight. Alright, let's see what Kai does first. So Kai's going to send Shizuka after us with her Beedrill. Vanguard, I believe, increases damage or something. Alright, only a damage and a damage. Yep, we're not very... Oh, they got the poison! That's the one thing they could have done. Alright, we still have Ghastly. They have Drifloon over there, which is useless to them. And Larvitar. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to need your help here. And, yeah, we're basically... There was a four chance... Four chan there was four hits that could have poisoned us. However, they missed. It's going to be amazing. Oh, she went for the move. Okay. So she's using this to try and flinch us. So her ability as a human, she increases range and gets a flinch chance. And she didn't get the flinch. So that did not work out in her favor. We're going to go ahead. Okay, you're Salver. You're going to go over here and you're going to start fighting the Drift. Ooh, you almost can one-shot her. You're so strong. Eh. Yeah. One HP, you lucky, lucky gal. Uh, I'm going to send in Luxray next because Luxray is the big hitter. And our boss versus their boss. Luxray versus Simiseer. Or is that Panseer? That's Panseer. Forgot, it's not evolved yet. And I've defeated Kai. Next, we're going to have Ghastly start working on that Larvitar because it's a tank. Nick. And Beedrill, you don't really do much to anybody that's left, so just go forward. Starly, get ready to fight that Zubat. That's your opponent. Amolga, I'm really trusting you here to kill both of these guys. You also could kill Drifloon, but I'm not worried about that. One Beedrill down, one more to go. Yep, command and conquer, everybody. Nothing they can do. Yep, that Beedrill's uh, actually in the perfect spot. Oh, she has a heal, of course. That Zubat's ready to die. That's very nice of them. Ghastly, it looks like you're having a little 1v1 over there. And that decreases our range. Damn it. I can't get behind them anymore. Let's see how much you do back to us. <laughs> see, Duskull has an insanely small HP bar. But actually a really high defense stat. So it's actually... Duskulls are pretty nice. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have Duskull finish off this ga gal. Oh, she can't because she did the heal. Yeah, that heal was came in clutch, didn't it? Well, as clutch as it may have come in, I still have a Luxray, and even though it's in inaccurate, it would do 365 damage if this hit. That would be extremely funny. Yep, 375! Holy crap. Holy crap, that was insane damage. Starly, you know I want you to beat Zubat. Zubat was like their weakest member. There we go. And Beedrill, why don't you get closer to Larvitar to help out Ghastly? Since my Luxray is useless against Larvitar. So our boss is completely useless against this Rock Ground type. It's kind of a shame. Plus Amolga's useless here. Ah, Amolga's not going to be able to hit this thing. I'm going to have to go over here. Just chill. You have to be exactly two spaces away to hit her, so that's why I couldn't do it. Ooh, she increased her attack. No, don't aim at Duskull. It's still not very effective damage, but I'm a little worried. All right, no poison, no poison. Damn, that did good damage. Okay, respect. And you're going to try and kill off the Beedrill, but Beedrill's going to dodge it. Damn it. And Beedrill's dead. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. My team is very weak to rock. That's a problem. Uh, Luxray, why don't you go around the map collecting items? Since there's nothing else for you to do. Starly, we need your help with this guy. It's kind of a dick. And Ghastly, you're doing a great job. You don't have to worry. You're, 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 kill you're the only thing killing this guy. Good job, Asa. And I'm pretty sure Amolga can do this by themselves. Let's see it. Yep, Amolga is plenty of damage. And there goes the Beedrill. You're really most impressive. Thank you. You're so sweet. And that means you can just go collect an item. Seven damage. It hurts, but we're fine. Let's give this a whirl. No! Stop healing! Why does everybody heal? Crap, Ghastly's the only thing that does damage to you. I was upset that you actually hit him. Alright, everybody heals, including me. So I'm just going to have you go over here. And we're going to start surrounding this guy so that he can't run away. Alright, 7 damage is a lot, actually. 10 damage on top of that. Or 9 damage, whatever. Ooh, we got the paralysis. That lowers their speed, making it harder to hit rock tombs. And I'm all good, why don't you just collect items? A little late for a poison block. Oh, the paralysis didn't kick in, but did the accuracy work? Yes! The lowered accuracy helped a lot. Alright, Duskull, you already did a lot of work, but let's see you push him back into spot. Or into place. There we go. And Ghastly, you can do the honor, since you've been doing so good. Fighting it by yourself. And just like that, one of the last armies to oppose us has been defeated. Granted, I had my boss in part of this part as part of this party, so this was the easier fight, but... You know, it still it still felt worrying. Ooh, I got No to finally join us, and I got Kai. So everyone's joining us now. A little too late for me to use them, but that's fine. So, oh yeah, I already got her Darmanitan during the story mode. Good. And Mistrevis. So those of you that don't know, I already did a full Let's Play of this. Of the basic story mode of this game. And also a side story with Yukimura. So if you want to go watch those, they're on the channel. Hell, they're in the same playlist as this video, so just go to the same playlist. go and you get to keep your evolutions and stuff if you uh did it in a different story that's why they're evolved but like i said i don't even want to get to the next year i mean the next month we're gonna stay may i'm gonna have this entire uh story mode beat by may and we started in january so i just gotta trust my dragon types to kill that freaking those freaking annoying ones oichi you were the first person to join me and i'm trusting you to to Command army number two. Can you do it? If you win this, we will be the uh, victorious and we will be crowned the prettiest women or the most elegant women of our time. So this map is another one where it's just beat the crap out of your opponent. But the flying map is hard to get. It's hard to get to your opponents. And if you have a flying type, it makes it a little bit easier. But 
it's not guaranteed easy. So we're going to let Gibble go first. Gibble's so bad. It only has 7%. So Gibble's going to go over here to try and get to our opponents. Then we're going to have Wigglytuff go next. Then Ekans is going to get stuck halfway there, but it's fine. I'm going to let Axu go on this path. And Sneasel will join you. And finally, Rufflet, you are going to go right here. For good reason. You'll see why later. So let's see what they plan on doing. Do they want to play defense or come after me? They're going to come after me. Okay. Ooh, the boss is coming after me. That's interesting. Okay. Oshawott's are cool. I'm glad there's Oshawott in this game. Kupchu. All right. The rope bridge has been built. Lullaby kicked in, and I put the boss to sleep. Oh, that's so lucky. All right, we're going to kill off the the Onyx right now, if possible. Let's find out. Yes, just enough damage. And by killing off the Onyx, now we have nothing to worry about because we put the boss to sleep. So what is your ability? Top speed. That's really good, but not in this situation. Let's just hope we can hit it. If this move hits, we basically won. And just like that. Oh, I, I woke them up. They only have 11 HP left. That's amazing. Uh, let's keep everyone else. I was going to move you up. I was sneaking you over here. But I'm actually going to move you over here to bait the opponents to come this way. Because they can jump to the middle of the map and fight us right now. If they wanted to. Right, so let's see what this girl does. Is she going to go after Ekans that, with a, the bait I gave her? Shackle could be a problem. And there you go. Shackle means that they basically hit. Or, well, it doesn't mean that. I mean, if you see the ability activate, that means they hit the move. Because usually her move is inaccurate. Why are you going that way? That was the long way. Cub Chew, are you going to heal? Damn it. I just forgot Aya joined her. Aya is a healer. So now I'm going to have to hit her again with another Dragon Rager. This will be for nothing. And that Oshawott went into No Man's Land, so that's going to be a problem. Alright, Axu, I'm going to have you just do your best. Hit this hit this thing, please. You really need to hit it. Yikes. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. And Wigglytuff, you just do as much damage as possible. So Wigglytuff actually does decent damage here. That'll make this an easier fight. Sneasel, you stay down here. You're going to fight. Um, you're going to go this way to try and help out. And you're going to fall back to try and fight that Oshawa 1v1. Oshawa gets the first hit, though. I don't like that. And added bonus is useless on this Pokemon. Alright, well, whatever. 1v1s must happen. And she gets one chance to do this. So this move is guaranteed to hit. That's her ability, is that this is guaranteed to hit. So now we get to see Shackle. That only did 9 damage. I lose my range. Because of Shackle, I lose my range. Oshawott has Water Gun in this game. Water Gun did, like, nothing. Rufflet would be stronger. There we go. They're actually perfectly lined up for me. And Lullaby put the boss to sleep again. Doesn't matter. I'm going to wake him up. I'm going to wake you up. Oh, wow. Cup Chew's dead. All right, thank you, game. All right, Aya. All I have to do is destroy this, uh, this, the Aya, and we're done. These armies were super weak, and this story mode was super easy. Granted, this is one of the short stories. Uh, I will be doing longer stories soon. Uh, not in the next story, but as soon I'll be doing longer story modes. And the longer story modes, they get pretty freaking intense. All right, Sena. Yes, I'm remarkable. Thank you. Axu, you can't really help anymore. We already killed everything that matters. And then Rufflet, you're going to do your best to 1v1 this Oshawott. Alright, let's see what happens. Oshawott wants to continue our fight to the death. Yeah, I'm definitely winning that fight. This time you're aiming at Gibble. You hit Oh, Gibble's one shot. Gibble's dead. Yeah. Having only 7% Link, you were going to be dead. And you woke you had an awakening. Interesting. 
All right, Wigglytuff, you should be able to kill them from this range. 17 damage, come on. Yes, okay, the boss is down. All that's left is that little Oshawott. And honestly, I don't see that Oshawott beating my Rufflet, so if this could just be a crit, that'd be nice. No crit, okay. Ooh, Torrid, look at that, your build, it like, if this was like the anime, remember when Ash's ability, or Ash's Infernape would get its ability of, uh, what, what is it called, Blaze or something? Well, that's what this Oshawott just did with Tor. oh, you have an increased defense, okay, you probably should have done that earlier. Ooh, you did six damage, aren't you fancy? Alright, well, this is six, I think this is an Awakening, kind of useless, but whatever. Oh, it's an Ice Heal, whatever. Alright. Rufflet, even though they increase their defense, can you do 4 damage? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. With the crit, you got the crit when we didn't need it. Of course you got the crit when we didn't need it. We did it, everybody. Victory is ours. The Ginchiyo story mode has now been defeated. It took 5 months. Which, honestly, is like nothing. Or 6 months. 5 months. May is the 5th month of the, of the year, right? Yeah. It took five months. And I'll recruit them just for funsies. There we go. You're joining me. How wonderful. I shall accompany you. Yes, you shall. Go over to Illusio. Go back to where you came from. And just like that. Central Ransai is under my command. And yet, ten more kingdoms remain. The path ahead is long and hard. Hmm, that doesn't sound like you. Unashige, you're back. I am. I wanted to see your face again, Genshiyo. I, you, cease your tomfoolery. There may be ten kingdoms left for you to conquer, but the armies that protect them are nothing special. It is only a matter of time before you unite this region. I know that. Ah. It would appear that you still do not need me, then. I shall take my leave. Wh wh where are you going? Wherever the wind may take me, I suppose. And so, Ginchiyo, who had won the contest among the female warlords, set her sights on the whole of Ransai and steeled herself for the battles that lay ahead. Her and her Luxray conquered the world. And there's no reason to see the end credits again, guys, so let's just skip that. So, we have defeated Ginchiyo's story. Sorry for making you guys wait two years to see that. <laughs> for the two people that might remember this Let's Play. Oh my god, if two people even remember this Let's Play, that would make me so happy. Because when I when I first did this game, I was at like, what, 150 subs? I'm at like 6,000 now. The world has changed. And I've unlocked a bunch of new stories. The next story we're going to be going to is Kotaro's story. So we'll be doing Kotaro's story next time. Bye bye everybody.